Finally, the legislature is winding down, but there are still some big issues to deal with. It's Jenny with Capital Watch, and I'm here to give you the rundown on what's been happening at the Arizona legislature. Right now, it's officially all about the budget. Many people and organizations have been waiting for this moment because it means that the legislature is getting ready to wrap up. First off, let's talk about what the budget is. The budget is essentially the agreement that their governor and the majority party, typically the Republicans, decide on for how much money the state will spend in the following year. In Arizona, one of the biggest fights and controversies is all about tax cuts. Republicans argue amongst each other about how big the tax cuts will be that year, and that typically takes up the majority of the conversation. Instead of arguing about how much should be allocated to education or other public programs, their priority is giving the wealthy another break. Another thing we often see during the budget debate is legislators sneaking in failed bills as part of the budget package. So don't be too surprised if you see an attack on voting, an attack on LGBTQ plus rights, or an attack on education during the next few weeks. There are already rumors about Republicans throwing fits and refusing to pass the budget if their failed bills don't make it into the budget package. Another technique Republicans use during the budget conversation is sneaking in bills that are too extreme during the regular session, so they try to sneak it in to pass it discreetly. They do this to cut down on media attention and push back from activists to try to fly their bills under the radar. So while it was a semi-slow week at the Capitol, we are ramping up for one of the most intense and important parts of the entire session. During budget, we will also start seeing referendums added to the ballot as they decide what fights to pick. So get ready for more attacks on the ballot measure process as budget and the session begins to wrap up. In positive news, Senator Christine Marsh got her bill signed, which allows for the legalization of fentanyl testing strips in Arizona. This is all being done to prevent overdoses and save lives in Arizona. House Minority Leader Reginald Boulding also got his bill signed this week, which allows for foster youth to apply to get driver's licenses. Previously, they were not able to because they needed a legal guardian to do so. Wouldn't it be amazing if the rest of the legislature introduced bills that were this helpful and served communities? That's it for this week. Make sure to follow us on our socials for live legislative updates as they happen. And go to progressarizona.org to sign up for our newsletter and to get more updates on what we cover here. Thank <laughs> you.